We are just a few weeks away from the start of the 2024 United Football League season, and I cannot be more excited. With the USFL and XFL coming together to form one strong spring league, I thought it would be fun to go through each team and preview their head coach, roster, and schedule. Today, we will be talking about my favorite XFL team and now favorite UFL team, the DC Defenders. The Defenders put together a strong season last year, going 9-1 during the regular season, but falling short in the XFL Championship game 35-26 to the Arlington Renegades. Heading into 2024, the Beer Snake returns and the Defenders will look to have another strong season. So let's talk about that. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football and spring league football content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, let me know who your favorite UFL team is in the comment section below. The DC Defenders were one of the most fun teams to watch last year in the XFL, and if I'm being honest, I'm very biased. I was living outside DC at the time and tried to make it to as many games as possible. From the beer snake, to the lemons, to the crazy fans, it was a fun environment that even my non-football fan friends loved DC, who would go 9-1 in the regular season would make it to the championship game losing to Arlington in an upset. DC was led by head coach Reggie Barlow, who if I'm being honest about, I did not have high expectations for originally. Barlow was a very under the radar name when it came to head coaches playing at Alabama State before spending time with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Oakland Raiders and Tampa Bay Buccaneers throughout a seven-year professional football career, playing wide receiver and even won Super Bowl 37 with the Buccaneers. He started his head coaching career in 2005, serving as the quarterback coach for his alma mater, Alabama State, where he mentored Tavares Jackson. In 2007, he was named the head coach of Alabama State, where he served in that position for eight years, going 49-42, and 42, winning two black national championships. After a 7-5 season in 2015, the Alabama State University Board of Trustees voted to not renew Barlow's contract. The move was seen as controversial because Barlow had signed a contract extension and salary increase months prior and had already begun getting paid at the higher rate. He finished as the second winningest head coach in Alabama State football history. In 2016, Barlow was named the head coach of Virginia State where he led the school to their first ever undefeated season in school history, going 10-0 and winning the CIAA championship, making it to the Division II playoffs. Barlow put together a 34-16 record at Virginia State, choosing to resign in March of 2022 and taking the head coaching job in the XFL. He was expected to be named the head coach of the San Antonio team at first, but would later be assigned to DC, where he led the defenders to an amazing first season. Offensive coordinator Fred Kice and defensive coordinator Greg Williams both return on the coaching staff as well. Greg Williams' defenses are notoriously known for playing quick to the ball at all times and having an aggressive style of play through all phases, and some wondered whether Williams would get an opportunity in the NFL. The defenders will have their 2023 starting quarterback, Jordan Tayamu, return, but will not see the speedy Derek King return as he is now serving as SMU's quarterback coach at the college football level. Instead, DeAndre Francois and Jalen McClendon will be competing for the second quarterback position, but both are expected to be retained on the roster. Abram Smith returns as a clear-cut starting running back after leading the XFL in rushing yards and touchdowns last year, finishing the regular season with 788 yards and seven touchdowns. Cameron Harris served as a spark plug for the offense last year, and along with those two, expect Puka Williams Tobias Taylor and Darius Hagan to compete for the third running back spot. At wide receiver, DC loses Josh Hammond to retirement and will look for Chris Wallen or Kiki Kuti to take over in his role. Brandon Smith returns and is expected to be one of Tayamu's favorite targets due to his history with him. Lucky Jackson and Chris Blair will need to be replaced with Jazz Ferguson and Kelvin Harmon being possible options. When it comes to the tight end position, DC returns both Riley Moore and Alex Ellis. Ellis finished the 2023 season with four red zone touchdowns, but they also added Caden Smith, who used to play for the San Francisco 49ers and New York Giants. When it comes to the offensive line, the defenders recently traded for Jameer Johnson, as they will have at least three new starters on the line. This will likely be a key unit for the defenders if they want to repeat their run game success from last season. 
When it comes to the defensive side of the ball, let's take a look at the defensive line. TJ Barnes, Boogie Roberts, and Joe Wallace all seem locks on the roster. Niall Scott is also expected to return, with, while Donovan Jeter fits as a run-stuffing nose tackle. When it comes to the edge position, DC added Trent Harris and Tim Ward from Houston. David Bellarmine finished last year with five and a half sacks, looked to have an even stronger season this year, while Derek Robinson spent time with the Tennessee Titans. At the linebacker position, Riggio Northrop and Francis Bernard both return after strong seasons for the tough DC defenders defense last year. Jordan Evans and Mohamed Sanago will also look to have strong seasons this year. The strongest unit for the DC defenders should be their cornerback position. Michael Joseph should be the leader of the group and should lead a unit that will include Dijon Neal, among others. The defenders added two former first-round NFL draft picks in Gary and Conley and DeAndre Baker, who will also compete for roster spots. No matter who stays and who gets cut, this should be an extremely strong unit. EJ Swearinger will headline the safety position for the defenders, and Williams likes to use multiple defensive backs and safeties consistently rotating through them. Deontay Anderson has had a really strong camp while Santos Ramirez and Trail Bryce and Monte Nicholson all played important roles last year and should return. When it comes to the special teams unit, Matthew McCrane is expected to be the starting kicker after Enrique Yeni failed to show up to camp for a kicking competition. Daniel Whelan is now with the Green Bay Packers, so Paxton Brooks arrives in D.C. to replace him. Trey Berry is expected to be the defender's long snapper. The defenders have one of the strongest rosters in the UFL, and as of March 4th have the third highest odds to win the UFL championship, behind the Birmingham Stallions and St. Louis Battlehawks. Heading into the 2024 season, going back to 2020, the D.C. defenders have yet to lose a game at Audi Field, making it one of the most dangerous home field advantages. Let me tell you from personal experience, it is a crazy place. Audi Field's environment should only get crazier with the defenders already surpassing last year's season ticket numbers and a fan base that produced sellout crowds. The defenders will start their revenge tour against San Antonio, the same place they lost the XFL title game last year. With a lot of returning faces, I believe this team will come out fired up and with a bad taste in their mouth, but will come out with a win. They will then host the Houston Roughnecks for their home opener, with this being a different Roughneck team from last year. The Houston Gamblers rebranded to the Roughnecks. DC continues their home winning streak and moves to 2-0. Week 3 will be a rematch of the 2023 title game when the defenders travel down to Arlington. I believe they will lose their first matchup looking towards a major matchup against the Birmingham Stallion the following week. Although this is a revenge game, so I would not be surprised if the defenders win this game. As I mentioned in my Birmingham Stallions video, I believe DC wins a close overtime game to move to 3-1 before returning home to take on St. Louis. I think they continue their home winning streak with wins over St. Louis, San Antonio, and Michigan before dropping a game to St. Louis on the road to end their three-game win streak and enter a crucial matchup against Memphis. If DC beats Arlington earlier in the season, I think they lose a shootout against Memphis. If they lose to Arlington, I feel like they win this game. Those two games are my toss-up game. I think they continue their undefeated home winning streak to close out the season with a win over Arlington to lock down home field advantage with an 8-2 overall record. What do you think? How will the 2024 UFL season go for the DC Defenders? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos YouTube thinks you will love right here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and as always, remember to embrace the grind.